welcome back to the garage. If this is your first time visiting my channel, please go ahead and click on subscribe and also click on that bell to receive all the updates and activities on my channel. All right, so this is the latest on the uh, the Project Sled 2020 XCR 700. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to uh, remove the recoil, we're going to inspect the water pump belt, and then we're also going to replace the rope on the recoil. Um, so, you know, the engine's out, now's a perfect opportunity to do it while you have plenty of access and time and everything else. So let's go ahead and uh, remove the oil pump from the recoil first. So the oil pump is held onto the recoil by two eight millimeter bolts. There's one here, there's one below. We're gonna keep the lines intact. All we're gonna do is just, we're gonna pop the, uh, the oil pump off the, re off the uh, recoil housing. So we're gonna pop that off and we're gonna put the bolts back in just so we don't lose them. Now we're gonna remove the recoil housing from the engine and these are just held on by 10 millimeter bolts. Let's swing the oil pump out of the way, and this will come right off. And there you go, there's the recoil housing. All right, now with the recoil housing removed, we have access to the, uh, the uh, water pump belt. As you can see, there is no tensioner on this setup. Um, it relies on the belt to be within uh, spec, a certain length, so it's not too far from center to center. So what we're gonna do is, um, there is a spec I think what it is, if you put a two pound weight on the belt, there shouldn't be more than a quarter inch of deflection, all right? So on first inspection, it actually looks pretty good. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna, we're gonna pop the belt off and we're gonna check the cogs and uh, on the belt, make sure there's no cracks on it. So to pop it off, it's pretty easy. Uh, all you wanna do is just roll the, uh, the engine over, just put a screwdriver behind the belt. Now what you're gonna do is we're just gonna kind of guide it off. There you go, then it comes right off. All right, so we're on the bench and I'm looking at the belt and I'm seeing if I see any cracks down in the valleys of the belt. And it actually looks pretty good. I don't see any signs of any impending failure on that or at all. And on the surface, it looks pretty good as well. So to me, it looks like this belt was changed not too long ago. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna reuse it. All right, so now we're at the point where we're gonna replace the, the rope and the recoil. First thing I do is I take a couple screws and I just drive it through the, the housing and the recoil and I attach it to my bench. So that way uh, it's not fopping around while I'm trying to work on it. And what I do at this point, I just pull the, the rope out. I secure it about an inch and a half away on the rope and I'm gonna let that stay right there. So at this point, what I want to do is I want to grab a set of needle nose pliers and fish the knot out. Okay, now that we have the knot out of the pocket, what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to let go of the vice grips. I'm gonna pull this out and then I'm gonna just let it rewind in through the housing. So this step is optional, but I recommend it. Um, take some WD-40 and just spray it on there and start cleaning the inside of the housing, right? Because the last thing you want to do is, as you're fighting with this, uh, get your hands covered with dirt, dirt and oil and everything else. While you're trying to get the rope in it, it's just gonna, it's just gonna make it uh, that much harder. So just take some take the opportunity to clean it up. All right, so now we're at the process where we want to put the new rope on. I know some people may get intimidated on this because they fear that there's going to be a, just a huge spring in, the, in their face 
and that's gonna require 18 hands to do it and, and, and everything else. But I'm gonna show you, this is very easy to do. It's gonna take less than a minute, right? So all I've done is I've taken my rope, I've tied a knot in it, and I fed it through the pulley, right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna pre-tension the, the rope and we're gonna do it about six times. We're gonna go counterclockwise. This rope is about eight feet in length, all right? So what we're gonna do is we just go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, all right? So we're gonna hold it there. We're gonna grab the other end of the rope. Make sure we're not in a knot. We're gonna grab the rope, feed it through the hole, pull it through. Again, make sure we're not in a knot, right? And all you do, if you did an eight foot uh, rope, just let it go, right? Because it's eight feet, right? Yeah, it's gonna, essentially it's gonna wind itself upon itself and then it's gonna stop, right? But we have enough length where we don't have to worry about it going into the recoil. So what's gonna happen is we're gonna leave this long, we'll, we'll put it on the sled and we'll feed it through it and whatever length uh, it comes back to, we'll just trim it off. So there you go, piece of cake, right? Again, I hope this helps. If there's any questions, comments, concerns, leave them in the comments box. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And as always, thanks for watching and have a great day. See ya.